So we got to work on your personality a little bit as a real estate agent. You're going to do far better if you get today's morning meeting. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your real estate business. Today, I want to talk a little bit about who you are as a person. More importantly, your public persona, how people know you. Does anybody know you? Are you fighting with obscurity in today's market, meaning not enough people in your market area know who you are? But if they do, I want to give you an example. You know, I'm pretty good with those analogies. If you followed me, you're on a lot of our inner circle coaching calls, that type of thing. We've got some really good analogies that will help you in learning a little bit about how you need to present yourself. See, the fact is, a lot of people look at me, I don't know, I don't even know how to say it, famous, well-known, uh, somebody they follow, they see my stuff all the time, that type of thing. You can be exactly the same thing to 5,000, 10,000 people in your local market. But here's one thing you have to remember. You got to have a personality. There has to be something about you. So if I said, um, those of you old enough to remember Seinfeld, uh, if I said Kramer, you instantly know his body language, how he acts, how he reacts to things, certain ways that he is, right? Uh, any of the, um, uh, you know, if we go to what's some of the old sitcoms, Friends, if we go to Phoebe, you know how Phoebe acts. There's a very specific way you expect her to act, things that you expect from her. She's an entertainer, so you know exactly how she's going to entertain you. But I want to give you some examples of where you can mess this up. We had a coaching call yesterday where we talked about as a real estate agent, you should have a YouTube channel. You should be working Facebook. You should be putting out content, helpful, educational, entertaining information, right? We call it edutainment. So we're educating them, but we're entertaining them as well. You don't have to be an actor or an actress. You don't have to have anything scripted. I, you should actually be yourself. I want you to be yourself. But one thing I want you to think about here is who they see you as needs to happen every single time. You know what you're going to get from me. You know I'm going to say some off-color shit. You know I'm going to cuss. You know I'm going to get mad about stuff. I really show my emotion and who I am, and I don't act a certain way. People like to get the real thing. That's why I've been labeled as the no BS real estate coach. So that happens because I have a persona about me. But here's what I want you to imagine. I want you to imagine that you're sitting at home right now. You're just watching TV. You're thumbing through the TV and you get to a, a um, talk show. You remember David Letterman, Jay Leno. They're not even on anymore, but whoever is on now. Imagine you see your favorite comedian on there. Uh, Will Ferrell, Jim Carrey, Kevin Hart, maybe even Eddie Murphy, somebody like that. You see them on there and they're getting interviewed by, let's say, David Letterman. Okay. You're like, oh, well, hey, there's something I can watch. I know this is going to be good. Now imagine it's Eddie Murphy and he's just talking about the movie that's coming up. Yeah, you know, I think it's a great movie. I had an awesome time doing it and uh, it was really a lot of fun. You know, I met a lot of great people and I think people are going to be entertained by this movie. I highly recommend you'd be like, what is going on? I stopped here because I wanted him to entertain me. I wanted him to tell a joke. So see, what happens is when Eddie Murphy go or Will Ferrell or whoever that is, when they go to the talk show, they are there to promote their movie, to promote their book, to promote their TEDx talk, uh, to, you know, whatever their TED talk, whatever it is that they're doing. They're going there to promote that, but they need scripted questions that become a joke to get all of their followers to love it. That is scripted out to say something funny because you would be disappointed if you saw them on the news, if you saw them on the David Letterman show, if you saw them on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, whoever it is, you would be very disappointed if you watched your favorite actor and they didn't do something that you know them by, right? So if if um, Denzel Washington, he's one of my favorite actors, uh, if Denzel Washington did something on there, you'd be like, oh, you got me there, right? The way he acts, the, the language he uses, the speech patterns that he uses, that's what you expect every time you see him. So if he's on there and he's just doing a plain regular interview and he doesn't have any fun, he doesn't have any cutting up a little bit, then that personality is gone and you're actually, as much as you love him, you're a little disappointed in what you just saw. So I want you to think about that. Like it, That's why it's important to be yourself because you will always be who you are and you're not going to have to worry about being out of character. You know, again, if you see Jim Carrey and he's not doing that stupid faces, sounds, stuff that he does, that's what you know him as, right? 
If you see Chris Rock, you expect him to do that voice that, I don't know the reason. I, that's the worst Chris Rock impression in the world. But that's what you expect from him to go crazy above board about something that's not really that weird, but he's making it crazy. He's making it funny by just going crazy about it. That's what we want to see. So your prospects want to know you, like you, trust you, learn about your life, learn about good and bad that's going on. And that's what makes you their favorite realtor. I know that sounds weird. We think we need to be giving stats and facts and being professional and I'm here to service you and everything. Tell me what actor, actress, rapper, musician, anybody is entertaining. The more they act that way, a certain way that is just them, the way they talk, the way they act, their speech patterns, what they're into, what they're not into, the more they do that, that persona that they have, the more followers, the more interest, the more rabid fans that they have. Well, the same is true for you. So I know it's on a much smaller scale and it's just 5,000 people in your zip code or in your marketplace. But I really want you to think about if you see that favorite person that you've always loved forever, you know, whoever it is, like growing up, my favorite two actor and actress, if I had to choose a male and female, that was back when there was only two genders. Um, I would do uh, Denzel Washington and Catherine Zeta-Jones. I don't even know if she's a great actress. I just thought she was always really pretty when I was young, right? When she was young. So she's still pretty today. But those are the two people. So if I saw them doing interviews and they were out of character or different than they usually are, it wouldn't feel the same to me, right? It's no different than when you see Kramer outside of the Kramer, what he was in that show. It's like, wow, he's like a normal person and he's really smart. Frankly, the same is true for Phoebe. The same is true for a lot of people. They're a different person than they are there. Um, who was the dude uh, obnoxious and rude? Not Greg Luther. Who was it? Um, Borat. You remember Borat or Borat, right? He doesn't even talk that way. He doesn't even have that accent, let alone act that way. Like he's just really so dumb about how the world works. Uh, that's not who he is. That's an act. That's the character that he plays. So when you see him in a normal environment, you're like, wait, this doesn't feel normal to me, right? Uh, on our uh, coaching call the other day, yesterday, we were talking about the movie Friday, okay? Uh, Chris Tucker, everybody, if they when they first started seeing him, they knew him as Smokey, right? Hey, Smokey, how you doing? My name's not Smokey, it's Chris Tucker. But that's how we knew him as that person. So I want you to think about that. As you're putting your content together, who... What are you known as? What are you known for? What do they know as a personality profile or even flaws about you? Because you're creating that character. You don't have to be real creative with this. I just be yourself because there's some really cool stuff about you and there's some weird shit about you too. And there's stuff that's a little off color about you. And the, and the more you show that, the more people are going to know you're authentic, you're genuine, and they'll know your true intentions because you haven't polished it up to make it look good. You want to get more followers, that's how you do it. Hopefully that's been helpful for you, you know, for for all of you that are members with us. How has this week been? Look at how much content I've provided for you. Go back, review that information, log on to the website and check it out. If for some reason you're not a reason, uh, if you if you're not a reason, if you're not a member with us, uh click that gives you a reason to click the button below, open up this video description box. Because you're going to see a link to getfastclosings.com, and you'll see how we can get you selling a lot more real estate. But look, if you're fighting obscurity, the reason you're fighting obscurity is because you're not getting enough information out there. I want to help you in showing you what to talk about, talking points to utilize, but that persona that you carry matters. My recommendation, don't create anything. Just be yourself. There's enough uniqueness even about you. You just think you're plain old you, right? Like my kids would just say, that's Greg, that's dad. I can't believe people listen to him, right? That it's, it's not Greg Luther, it's just dad. I can't believe they pay to listen to him, right? Because they don't want to hear me at all. So you're never a hero in your own backyard. But if you act like yourself and you show that you're authentic, I'm telling you, you're naturally going to get people to follow you. You've already seen, uh, anytime you see some of the people that you love and respect online and they're giving you a damaging admission, or they're showing themselves with no makeup, or they're being very uh, revealing to you in some way about what's going on in their life, it makes you believe in them a lot more. It's what I call a damaging admission. 
It's like, wow, that person's not perfect. I can't believe it. That person is not a perfect person. That means they're like me. And that's why they like you and they trust you a lot more. Hopefully that's of service to you. Uh, a couple of messages I want to give you here today. Number one, we do not have a morning meeting on Monday and Tuesday because I'm doing this huge investor training. So you should be following this channel and ring the bell. The reason you do that, and please give me a follow here, but the reason you ring the bell is it's going to notify you every time, every single day I have a morning meeting unless I'm spending the whole day with some of the members involved with us. So uh, you know, you probably got involved with the agentinvestortraining.com. Uh, that's a new market that's going on. You know, I was looking at some stats for a state the other day. It was 20% of all their closings were all cash. Then it was 25% of their closings were all cash. Then it was 30, it was actually 31, but 30% of their closings were all cash. They are now saying next month is going to show 35% of their transactions are all cash buyers. That's why we're doing this big two-day training, agentinvestortraining.com. Uh, I'm going to show you how you get with these people, how you uh, get a portfolio of properties for them to just sell them the homes and then refer it to a property manager. Uh, so we'll be covering a lot on that, which means there's no morning meeting on Monday and Tuesday. I will see you right here on Wednesday, but hopefully you are on that training next week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.